Welcome to the recorded version of Maximizing Your Internship Experience. In this recorded workshop, we'll go over how to make the most of your internship experience starting from day one. Then we'll go over what to do during your internship, how to start coming to an end at your internship, and what to do after the internship has ended. In this video recording, we'll be going over the importance of internships, day one of your internship, as well as going through the um, entire internship process. So during your internship, how to end your internship, as well as um, beyond your internship experience and what you can do to maximize that experience even after it's been completed. So by the end of this um, presentation, we hope that you'll be able to explain why internships are important, reflect on your current preparedness, continue to prepare and set expectations for your internship, evaluate the impact of your internship on your career, especially at the end of your internship. At the bottom, we have our NACE career readiness competencies that are associated um, with the um, internship process. Um, so first we have critical thinking. Um, so right now um, it's possible that you've assessed your current preparedness for um, starting a new opportunity or a new internship and you're hoping to continue to expand on that. And through the information that you'll be receiving, as well as you know any training or professional development that you'll be gaining um, when you start your internship, you'll be able to take that information in order to help you make the most of your internship um, and really help you um, develop professionally to help you achieve your career goals. Next, we have professionalism. Um, Professionalism at the core of it is really about setting very clear expectations. Um, and a lot of this is going to be done with your employer, um, most likely your direct supervisor. Um, so it's really important um, to communicate a lot of those things very clearly at the beginning of your internship. And if there's anything that you don't have any questions about, be sure to ask. Um, later in the presentation, we'll talk about newness and how important it is to take advantage of you being new um, in whatever position you'll be taking on. So use that opportunity to ask questions and absorb that information. Lastly, uh, we have career and self-development. Um, and this will be a lot clearer when you um, end your internship, but probably throughout it, you'll start to um, see the things that you're learning and how your internship is impacting your career development and therefore your career goals. Here we have our full list of the NACE career readiness competencies. So NACE stands for National Association of Colleges and Employers. Numerous college career centers and employers are members of this organization, and they have come together to agree upon this set of competencies that they believe broadly prepare college graduates for a successful transition into the workplace. And the great thing about these competencies is that you can acquire them in so many different ways and settings. Um, so we hope that, um, you know, continuing to engage in our services, getting involved on campus or off campus, um, you will start developing these different competencies um, so that you can make that successful transition into the workplace upon graduation. So why is it important to maximize your internship? Well, um, statistically speaking, about 68% of interns are offered full-time employment, with 66% being converted to a full-time employee um, at the site that they were an intern at. 
and interns are five times more likely to accept a full-time offer if they are satisfied with their internship experience. And that satisfaction is um, going to come likely from making that effort to maximize the internship as much as possible. And at the bottom we have uh, down here, so among employers who held an internship during the summer of 2020, approximately 72% did so virtually. Overall, most reported that the quality of their cohort's work performance did not suffer, but was consistent between in-person and virtual experiences. So um, this is good news for um, you know virtual internships. And if you've completed a virtual internship in the past, it is viewed very positively by employers as well. Before starting your internship, even before day one, I think it's important to reflect on what are some of the things that you want to learn um, and what skills do you want to further develop? How can you build your network? Um, I think that these things will help you to be intentional about um, the what you want to learn on your internship and seek out the experiences, uh, maybe talk to your supervisor about um, increasing um, the number of responsibilities or kind of branching out a little bit um, of your responsibilities um, to be able to gain the knowledge and experience that you want to do. I think that um, actually later in the video recording, we will talk about journaling um, as part of your uh, reflection after the internship, I think that it's really important to do that from the beginning, um, actually even before, so thinking about the things that you want to learn and then documenting um, your internship as you proceed through it. So what are the things that you like? Um, what are some of the things that you don't like? All of these things will be really helpful by the end of your internship to think about, you know, what did you gain from your experience? What did you learn about yourself? And how can these things impact your career development moving forward? Once you've determined what your intentions for this internship experience are, set these expectations with your supervisor. Um, it's also important to be aware of the responsibilities being asked of you in the um, job description for the internship and understand the different objectives for the position. But you can also um, talk to your supervisor about any of your specific goals uh, for what you'd like to learn as well. Um, there might be some flexibility and they might be able to help you tailor your experience to fit your goals. Next, we have the learning contract or 198i form. I would recommend, um, even if you're not trying to seek credit from um, your internship experience through the 198i form, um, there's also the learning agreement that is basically a formal um, or informal agreement with your supervisor about the type of experience um, that you're hoping, you're both hoping to um, accomplished through this um, internship. The next thing is to uh, set a standard for receiving and giving feedback. So establishing check-ins with your supervisor and how often they'll occur, um, how you will be evaluated, as well as how your supervisor would like to receive feedback or how they would prefer um, for you to um, talk to them about any questions that you might have throughout the internship. I think that a lot of people can be very overwhelmed and intimidated by being a new intern or a new employee in an organization or company, but I think it's really one of the most exciting um, parts. You get to learn so many things and meet so many people and it's a great time to be curious and ask questions and even um, take risks or um, in the sense of um, maybe asking supervisors about um, 
being flexible with the demands of the position. So if you're interested in gaining a certain type of experience, as we mentioned in the previous slides, then um, when you're new, it's a great time to do that and see if it's possible to do it. During your internship experience, start to track your tasks and update your resume as you proceed so that it's not such a daunting task when you are done with the internship and you have to remember everything that you've done. Try to find a mentor and make connections with other interns and professionals as well. If you've watched our um, networking your way to a job or mastering LinkedIn um, video recordings, uh, you might remember that Bill Nye quote um, that says that everyone that you'll ever meet knows something that you don't. So I think that uh, being a sponge and making connections with other people um, when you're starting an internship and going through the internship process is really important. You can always learn something from other interns and professionals and all of these things can help you to become an expert um, while you are in your role as an intern at this organization or company. And try to be involved as well. Um, seek employee resource groups, maybe um, engage in um, social events for team building and things like that for your internship opportunity. At the end of your internship experience, you might be asked to give feedback on your experience. I remember at the end of one of my internships, um, I was asked to give a presentation on the things that I learned on some of the accomplishments as well as recommendations for the office that I was interning at. Um, so be prepared to give feedback. And even if you aren't asked to give a presentation, if you had a really awesome experience, don't be afraid to let your supervisor or other people who made a um, strong impact on the positivity of your internship experience, don't be afraid to let them know. I'm sure they'd be very happy to hear that. So um, one thing that you can do is send thank you notes to those who made an app impact on your experience and um, keep them updated regularly as well. So it doesn't have to be like, you know, kind of a, um, sending a thank you note and you know you never contact those people again. That's really the beginning of um, creating a lasting relationship beyond the internship experience. Ask your supervisor or any other um, professionals that you might have worked closely with at your internship experience if they would be willing to be a reference or write a letter of recommendation for you in the future as well. At the end of your internship, try to keep in touch with the individuals that you connected with uh, throughout the course of your internship. Anyone that made a, um, your experience a positive one, keep in touch, let them know about um, any updates in your um, professionalism. I'm sure they'd be very happy to hear about that from you. And uh, keeping in touch can also be maybe sharing relevant articles on LinkedIn that um, based on um, the time that you spent with them and what you know about that person, um, it can lead to further developing those relationships even after your internship has ended. At the end of your internship, I would highly recommend updating your documents as well. So going into your resume as well as your LinkedIn and Handshake profiles to communicate um, your experience. So any tasks that you did or outcomes that you achieved um, try to communicate those as soon as possible after ending your internship so the information is fresh.
if you have any questions about how to communicate an experience onto your resume or your profiles, uh, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to support you through drop-in or appointments. Let other students know about your experience as well. You never know, maybe um, another UCR student will hear about your experience and they'll want to um, pursue an internship experience with the organization and company that you did as well. Um, so yeah, help each other out and um, be resources for your peers as well. At the beginning of this video recording, I talked a little bit about um, journaling and reflecting on what you were hoping to get out of your internship experience. I think it's important to start that as early as possible um, throughout your internship and at the end of your um, internship as well. So um, at the end of your internship, it might be um, you know, reflecting on to what degree were you academically prepared for this internship? Um, do you need to refocus on some areas to be better prepared for your next experience? Um, maybe talking about the things that you liked and that you didn't like about the internship. And if this is something that you want to pursue further, it's totally okay if at the end of an experience, you realize that maybe you don't want to pursue marketing, for example, when you thought you did at the beginning of the internship. It's okay, it's normal, and um, even if it didn't affirm your decision um, or your interest in marketing, that's something that you can, you know, cross off your list and you can start looking at something else that you're interested in. All of that is valuable information. So don't feel bad if you um, realize that this isn't something that you want to pursue further. Other questions to consider are, did you enjoy your experience? And again, what are some of the aspects that you didn't enjoy um, or which aspects you did enjoy? This can also help you um, think about maybe some other areas that you didn't consider before, other occupations that might be um, more focused on the things that you like um, and as opposed to the things that you didn't like. So I think that journaling for professional development is something that uh, I wish that more students would do. So if you haven't started one already, I would highly encourage you to do so. I think it can be very informative. Lastly, I wanted to talk to you about the UCR Career Network, which is an online community for networking, mentoring, and job opportunities for alumni and students. It functions very similarly to LinkedIn. Um, some of the differences are you have to opt in to be part of this network, whereas on LinkedIn, if you put that you went to UCR um, or graduated from UCR, you're automatically pulled into the alumni network on there. So the people who are on here are here because they want to connect with other people, whether it's alum or current students. So I highly recommend that you take advantage of um, this platform so that you can connect um, with people who are working in the field that you're interested in, maybe get leads for um, a job or internship search and get some advice there. Um, another unique feature to the UCR Career Network is that you don't have to take it off of the Career Network um, in order to connect with other people. There is um, video conferencing call capabilities built into the platform. Uh, if you're interested in um, being part of the UCR Career Network, you can register at careernetwork.ucr.edu. So that concludes all of the information that we have for you on this slide deck. But if you have any additional questions, um, specific questions about an internship that you might be starting soon or an internship that you've already started, feel free to reach out to us um, via drop in or appointment. Our contact information as well as our hours of operation will be on the next slide.